Hello, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jen. I make plus size fashion videos. So if you're interested in that, click subscribe and stick around. If you're coming back, welcome to you too. I am always so glad you're here. And when you see me in my car, you know we're doing another round of the dressing room diaries. So this is just a series where I go in and shop, see what I can find, try things on to share with you. And today I'm going to pop into Marisa's see what's new, see if I can find anything I think that we all might love. And of course, if it is available, I will link it down in the description for you so that you can easily shop it online. Or of course you can use this video as inspo to go shop in your local store. And I'm just excited to see if I can find anything today. It's been a long time since I have been inside of a Marisa's. I definitely tend to shop there online more. So we're just gonna go in, see what we can find. <laughs> Alright, I sifted through everything I hauled back to the dressing room and this is kind of what made the cut. Some of them are winners, some of them did not work as well for me, so let's get into why. This top is adorable. I love the print. I love the flutter sleeve. I think this is really cute. I would definitely recommend this as a fun option for work or weekend. And it is tight across the hips in a 3X for me, but plenty of room in the bust. So if you're pear shape, um, just kind of know that's how the fit is on this top. And then as far as the jeans go, this is a slim boot cut. I'm in a 24. They fit just fine. And so that's what I'm going to wear throughout the video. Not my favorite, um, but don't dislike them either. I also pulled this fun top because this gave me vacation vibes for sure. I'm showing you how short it is. So tall girls, I don't think this would work on you um, unless you're just comfortable with a shorter blouse. Petite girls though, this might really be a winner for you. I couldn't size up to a 3X. They didn't have one in store. So sizing up could make a difference, but I felt like the fit was pretty perfect through the waist and the bust. So this is one where, you know, depending on how comfortable you are with things being shorter or depending on your height, you could kind of play around with sizing. I did try on some workwear for you guys because I know a lot of you have told me, by the way, sorry, that mirror is so dirty. Um, a lot of you told me you like Maurice's for workwear. I can totally see why. Um, the pants for me, I don't think I would recommend these for someone who is a pear shape like me because I'm a solid 3X, sometimes even a 2X in pants from other major retailers, but in a 3X, these were tight. So you would have to size up for sure. And if you were a 4X, you probably couldn't wear the 4X. So I'd skip the pants, but the blouse is gorgeous. It's got plenty of room. This is a 3X and I love it. Same thing with this blouse, a 3X. Both, I just felt like had flow, movement. You can tuck or untuck if you're taller. These are going to be great for you too because they're not going to be too short. So I have to say the ivory blouse and the polka dot, you could do a lot with those in the workplace. Layer them with pops of color, keep everything really neutral. I have to sing high praises for both of those blouses, but I would say pass on the pants unless you are really narrow through the hips, have a small booty that kind of thing. But really great workwear options from Marisa's and I really appreciate that because sometimes it is definitely hard to find plus size workwear options that fit well. And then I love a dress. You guys know that. This was um, one of the only ones I saw in the store in a plus size that I liked. They didn't have a ton to choose from, but I thought this pattern was beautiful. And this runs really big. This is a 1X. And you guys know I'm not typically a 1X really in anything. So that tells you this is very generously sized. And that's good news because that means a lot of people are going to be able to wear this and a lot of people are going to be able to uh, fit into this. So I think that's great. Definitely just know size down one or two. Um, it is just beautiful. 
And last but not least, I had to turn on some graphic tees. Maurice's does great graphic tees. Um, they did not have the ones that I liked in a plus size in store. So I just grabbed an XXL and that worked just fine. These are super stretchy. Um, I thought this fun mama print was really cute. If you know, you're know you shopping for Mother's Day, this could be something to grab as a gift or for yourself. And I just thought that that was pretty darn cute. I also tried on this Rolling Stones tee. I'm a huge Rolling Stones fan. Fun fact about me. So anytime I see something Rolling Stones, it always catches my attention. Um, and this is another one where it's an XXL, but you know, it's got a lot of stretch. Um, it has good length. The Mama one runs shorter than the Rolling Stones one, but I liked both of these. I thought they were super cute. So that is kind of everything that I found to share with you, kind of the best of the best. And there were a lot of really fun things for lots of different areas of life. All right, let's recap. I did not buy anything other than the Mama graphic tee. That was the only thing that I liked enough to purchase it. But that's not to say that the things I tried on weren't good. Um, you know, more so the point I think too of this video series is to go into a lot of different places and try on a lot of different things to show you what's out there, to show you what's available, maybe to give you some inspiration, um, you know, maybe introduce you to a retailer that you haven't shopped at before, or maybe you just haven't been in a while. So for me, just because I go in and try on stuff and I don't walk out with clothes, does not mean that it is not a success. Um, ultimately, if it helps you and you see something and you go, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you tried that on. I've been looking for something just like that. That's really what I'm here for and that's really um, what the series is about. So there was a lot of great things in store today. Um, you know, with Maurice's, I have to say my personal preference, I feel like now that I've kind of um, made this trip into the store, I still feel like I find better stuff online than I do in the store that's just me. Someone else may have a totally different experience, but I think if I'm thinking about Maurice's and going like, I want to browse Maurice's, I want to see what's new. I'm probably going to go online before I go to the store. Um, cause I have found some things I genuinely love from Maurice's. I've had some things that have been top LTK sellers from Maurice's. So they're a great store. They have a great variety. Um, I think I just like the online stuff that I find better than the in-store stuff that I find. Um, the one thing I don't quite understand, I'm sure there's a whole team of well-paid people at Maurice's headquarters, corporate, whatever, um, that have the data that backs these decisions. And you know, what do I know? I'm an internet content creator. Um, but in store, they have sizes smaller, extra small, up to 3X. Online, they go up to a 4X. I don't really understand why if you are being a size inclusive retailer, um, I'm kind of confused why you wouldn't just go ahead and add that one size to your store. Um, like I said, they probably have their reasons or justifications for that, but it's like, what's one more size? Because uh, there's a lot of people that could benefit from that one other size being available in store. So I don't know, I don't have the answers for that. Um, but anyway, we have another dressing room diaries in the books. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you saw anything you loved. Let me know if you are a fan of Maurice's already. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it guys. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Bye.